Hello again. This video is all about checking and replacing your slide skis. Now the ski is a plastic piece underneath and along the side of your slides. And as you bring the slide in, the skis slide along what is a threshold block, a real hard piece of wood. And ours got all tore up. And so we had to replace the ski. So this video is about checking your skis and replacing the ski. So here we go. The other day we were doing an inspection on the RV and I just happened to notice that down underneath of this trim piece, this is what's known as the slide ski. It's a piece of plastic. And all along this bottom part was yanked out from behind this trim strip. And it was all crumpled up like it, it got in a bind or something. I, I, we don't know what happened. I can't really verify what caused it. But the old ski, which we took out, This whole front piece along here was tore out. <clears throat> and the new ski <clears throat> that we put in there is a lot wider. It's four inches wide. And the original ski was like two and a half inches wide. But I've got some uh, pictures I'll put in the video to show you what it looked like and it was all tore up. And you gotta fix it right now. This is, the ski is what the slide rides on across to the threshold block when your slide goes in. And this ski supposedly slips along that block so it doesn't tear up the bottom of your slide. That's what these skis do. And so I'll show you in some pictures what it looked like all tore up. And we got new skis from Rec Pro, uh, expensive burgers, and got some butyl tape along with it. And so we finished putting the new ski in today. And I'll show you some videos of, of how we did it and that kind of thing. It's not that difficult. You gotta jack the slide up, get it off the uh, threshold block. But um, check your slides, check your skis underneath to make sure they're not tore up. Cause that'll let water in to the bottom of your slide and, and rot out the floor. So that's what this video is about. Replacing your slide ski We got it up off of the, uh, I don't know, I'm sure what, what it's called, the threshold block. We got it up off of it, but we need to stick something up underneath of there to block it so that, hey, hang on. That's four inches wide. Okay, we got it. 
we got it up off of the threshold block enough to where we can get that slide back in there or the ski back in there. without it binding up and, and have that butyl tape on it so that it, you know, it doesn't all bind up. Okay, so. This is what we've got set up for the jack. And it doesn't take much to get it up. And then we've got a block. Actually, we used our Tammy used her cutting board and stuck it between the threshold block and the slide. That's what's our safety device. You can see it sticking through the gap right there. That's the cutting meat cutting board. So we're cutting it off at 44 inches. It's a little long, but uh, we can always trim it. So and we're gonna test fit it before we do anything else. we're gonna come right here to the edge. I don't wanna pry this piece out. So we're gonna bring it right to the edge and then put sealing in there. But you can see up in here to the inside of the coach and, and that ski has to fit right along where we've got all that Eterna bond. And then we'll put butyl tape between the ski and the eternal bond. Well, let's get to it. Okay. We got it in just a little bit. So we can slip that under it. Does this go under or is it too thick? Well, I've got to take a look at it. Okay. We'll slide this in to the outside. So Tammy can grab a hold of it. Okay, I'm up against the board. On the edge. You think that's 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 enough right you see right there is it totally up against it well not really because the boards can you put some tape up there to yeah we'll run the tape all the way to the edge of the board but there's a big gap over here that we well, do I need to some more? no 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 right. it's not the gap i'm talking about we need to put some in there on the side because the board is not square. Okay. I think if you're to the edge, right? You to the edge? Mm -hmm. I think that's, I think that's good, right? Where we got it. All right. Okay. I think if we take some of that tape and double it over it and shove it down in there, That'll take up that gap. Your right there with that. What do you think, Tammy? Because yeah. it's not quite. It's not quite in there. I think it's because the board's cut crooked, if you want to know my opinion. Let's do that. Okay, I think that's pretty good, don't you? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let me get that last screw in. Okay, we got it all done. And we haven't run the slide in yet. The beetle tape that we put down on this part is all gonna get flattened out. I think when we run the slide in, but uh, I think we got it up in there. So we'll just have to see how it all works out. I'm gonna take a roller and I'm gonna roll that up in there so it'll help flatten that out. But it's all in. Got the trim piece put back on. We used a piece of butyl tape behind the, the trim piece. So we'll see. I got a spare ski, you know, lefty, but you can see the inner seal back in there. We'll see how it all works out.